guys, it's Megan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And if you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to do a reformer Pilates workout. I would say this is about an advanced level. I really like to teach advanced levels. Um, I love the challenge. The reformer is amazing. There's so many things we can do with it. So I really like to have fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start on one light screen. So one blue spring only, one light spring. And have your foot bar either down or on the first one. So you don't want it in the way. And we're actually going to start kneeling facing the back of our reformer, okay? So let's go ahead and start with the short strap if you have the option. I'm going to do the short strap in my left hand. And I'm going to be kneeling. And I want to make sure that my knees are right under my hips. And I'm going to place my right hand onto the shoulder block. And from here, I'm just going to do a couple with both knees down just to kind of get your balance and what we're doing here. So I eat stays down, nice flat back, reaching the crown of that head long. Watch your feet here in the well. And we're just going to pull back and right back towards our hip. So just straight arm pulls, pulling that back, uh, that strap back, and then stopping at our hips. Good. So really engaging that core. Try to keep a soft bend in that um, hand or that elbow that you are have down onto your shoulder block. Pretty guilty of that too, so I'm always checking myself. And then from here, when you're ready, get your balance, find a spot on the floor, and we're going to lift that right foot up. So now we're just balancing on that left knee and our right hand. So a lot of muscles working here, a lot of coordination. So you really want to find your spot on the wall. Nice strong movement through that left arm. And let's lift that leg a little higher. Squeezing the glute for four. Three. Two. Last one, keep that arm extended. Now we're going to bend the elbow and that knee and extend at the same time. So we're bending everything in and extending. Whew. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And last one, both knees down and come on up. Holy moly, I feel that one. Good, we're going to keep that left strap, but we're just going to switch it with our right hand. So my right hand, so it's almost like a diagonal towards you, has that short strap in hand. We're just going to go into a high elbow row, and then extend that arm looking back over that right shoulder, and back. So you just want to keep that elbow up high, coming up towards the diagonal, and then fully extend that arm. We're on that light spring for a reason. So. If you try to do that with a heavier spring, good. <laughs> but if you need to go down, go ahead. I'm on my light loose spring. Now really just burning out the arms and the shoulders. Still engaging that core, looking over my right shoulder. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And one, come on in, put that strap down. And now we're going to put both knees down. We're going to reach our arms up onto the reformer. So watch your thumbs, because the reformer is going to move. And what you're going to see, you're going to see my weight is over my knees. I'm going to shift my weight now. So now my weight is over my knees. And I'm going to have my hands down. And we're going to go into reverse knee stretch, but we're going to do single leg because it's that light spring. So we're going to extend that right arm leg again, and we're just going to pull that left knee into chest and back out. So really feeling this in the core. It's a reverse knee stretch, so you'll feel that nice stretch in the left hip flexor as the where carriage goes back home. But you're really lifting up on that core, getting that nice little ab crunch when you bring that carriage in towards the back. Good, and control it as it comes home. So don't let the springs bring you home. Let the core 
Lift that leg high, don't let it drop. I was feeling my leg drop, so be aware of our form. For four, three, two, and one, come on in. Whew. Good job, guys. So now we're doing the same exact thing on the other side. So let's go back into this um, single arm. So I'm going to grab a short strap now with my right hand. I'm going to position my knees right underneath my hips again. And I'm going to place my left hand on the shoulder block, watching my feet in the well here. We're just going to keep both knees down for a couple so we can just kind of get our rhythm and flow. Find that spot on the floor that you're going to be focusing on to keep our balance. Good. And remember, arm comes straight. And we're just sliding it right by our side. So it's really staying narrow towards our body for two. And anyway, now let's go ahead and extend that left leg out. Right knee stays down. And now we're going to push and pull. Good. So same thing. So really find that spot on the floor. See if you can lift that leg up higher. Squeezing that glute, try to keep your hips square towards the reformer. Don't roll out on that left side. For two. And last one, bend everything in and extend. Good, you got it guys, stay strong. Let's go for four. Three, two, and one, come on in. Good, both knees down. Now grabbing that short strap with my left hand, so you have that diagonal with the strap. And we're just gonna go into that high elbow row, looking back towards that left shoulder. So you wanna keep that elbow up, kind of towards sides of the room, really strong core here. That's our powerhouse, that's our stabilizer, that's what's keeping us in balance. We're finding that spot on the floor, or the wall. Good, you got it. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one. Go ahead and put that strap down. Perfect. So now we're gonna do the same thing, um, reverse knee stretch, single leg stretch, lifting now our left leg that we just had lifted. So, same thing here. I'm gonna put my knees down. I'm gonna shift my weight over the reformer, or over my hips, grabbing onto the reformer, watching my thumbs. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna bring my left leg up and I'm gonna pull in with my right knee. And I'm controlling that carriage coming in and out. The springs are not controlling it. Lift that leg up higher. Squeeze the glute. Really control it in the core. Slow and control moves here. Good job, guys. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two. And one, both knees down. And just come on down and take a quick child pose. You deserve it. Good. So, we're not done. So now the fun part starts. Planks. So when you're ready, so you have two options here. Depending where you're at, this is an advanced level, so hopefully you are in advanced. We're going to put our feet onto the foot bar here. If you're not comfortable, you can keep it down on the... Um, platform. So from here, when you're ready, you're going to walk your feet onto the foot bar, and I'm going to do a Pilates feet. So I'm going to do heels together, 
toes apart, and I'm going to place my hands right under my shoulders, all ten fingers down. And I'm still on that light spring. If it's too light for you, go to a heavier spring. Push out to that plank. Good. Hold that plank for a second. Position yourself where you're comfortable. Make sure your hands are under your shoulders. You have full extension with those legs. Core is engaged. And let's pike it up. So I'm looking back towards that wall. And then my head follows. So my head follows my spine the entire time. So if you're piking it up, really lift up on those hips. Like someone has a string over your hips and they're lifting you. Nice strong core. Let's go for four. Three. Two. And last one, stay into that plank and just all those arms back and forward. So push it over in front of your shoulder, but don't pull them back under your shoulders. For five, four, three, two, we're not done. And one, good, from here. Now we're gonna pivot our feet. See, now you can see my feet are pivoted. My hands are still down. Now I'm gonna bend my knees and in. So I'm feeling that oblique, really lifting up on that left oblique. For four, three, two, and one. Push out, and now let's pivot towards the other side. Same thing, guys. Try to keep that nice flat back, bending those knees in and out. Feel that oblique, working hard on that right side now. Five, four, three, two, and last one, push out and slowly come on down. Whew. Great job, guys. Come on up. Let's roll out those wrists really quick. I know this can be a little bit tough. But when you're ready, let's come off of our reformer now. And we can lift our foot bar up. So I'm going to lift it all the way up. And I'm going to take my blue spring off. And now I'm adding just one heavy spring, so one red spring only. And now I'm gonna place my right foot up against the shoulder block closest to me. So I have my left leg down and my right foot up. Before we get started, make sure your legs are in line with each other here. You don't want your sore leg all the way up towards the front of the bike leg, the platform. You want them in line with each other so you'll get more range of motion for this move. I'm trying to catch my breath. Good. So we can start with both hands onto the foot bar and have your foot up against that shoulder block and we're just going to push out full extension feeling that booty really lift here. Feel those glutes lift, squeezing the glutes and come on in. So you really want to try to keep a slight bend in your standing knee. Full extension with the platform leg, squeezing the glutes, engaging that core. Good. And when you're ready, and if you're there, come on up, release the hands, hands on your hips, and now we're just gonna push out and in. So now you can see that I've kind of lowered into like a nice little squat here. So I'm staying with nice bent knees, my left knee, and I'm fully extending this left leg. Really feeling that glute lift, squeezing it. Quads on, working hard too. Great job, guys. Don't crunch over, pull the shoulders back. You should crown that head long. Really strong core here. For five, four, three, two. Last time, push that all the way out. Now extend this bottom leg, sorry, your standing leg. And now our working leg is our standing leg. So now our carriage leg is just along for the ride. I'm bending and straightening my left knee here, and that's what's moving the carriage. My left leg, sorry, my right leg that's onto the reformer against the shoulder block isn't doing anything. 
It's just so long for the ride. Really feel those glutes and hamstrings activate right here. This feels so good. It's so hard, but so effective. For four, three, two, woo. the last one, stay low. Hands to prayer, stay low in that lunge and just twist towards the camera and away from the camera. Back to center, extend, holy moly. Good job, guys. Stay there. Now we're gonna go into a leaping lunge. This is just a little cardio burst. So we're gonna place both hands onto the foot bar. Our right foot is still against the shoulder block. Our left foot is still on that floor. We're gonna push out into a nice lunge. Get low, make sure the knee's over the ankle, and then you're gonna lift up, reaching that left leg up, putting your weight into the foot bar, and back down. So these are made to be done fast. And we are just lifting up that heart rate, getting a little cardio burst. Woo. You got it, guys. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come on in. Whew. Amazing. From here, let's put our foot bar all the way down. And now we're going to switch to a light spring. So one blue spring. We're going to hit some inner thighs. So one light spring only. And the way we get on, make sure you step onto your platform first and then your carriage. Okay, never step on your carriage first, especially on that light spring. You will go flying <laughs> from here. Hopefully my head's not cut off. I try to position the camera where I'm in frame, but we'll see. You don't need to see my face anyways. From here, we're standing on our, foot, our carriage and our platform. I have my left leg on my carriage and my right leg on my platform. And I'm going to point my toes out. They're not parallel. I have them pointed out towards the sides of the room. So we're kind of in a first position here. From here, we're going to push out all the way out, lifting up on that pelvic floor. And it's like you have a magnet between both of your inner thighs. Squeeze them together. Squeeze the um, pelvic floor as you lift up taller. Out and squeeze. So only go out as far as you're comfortable. And out. Good. So you really want to try to wrap those inner thighs around. Really find that inner thigh engagement here. Good. Whew. See, don't take your spot off that wall or the floor. You'll lose your balance. Let's go for Three, we're going to add on. Two, grow taller. And last one, good. So we're going to have to step out, push out, and we're going to plie down and squeeze those inner thighs. So push out, plie down, and squeeze those inner thighs as you grow taller. See if you can add a little speed to it. Good. Let's go for four. So same movement here, guys. We're just adding that little plie down. Three. Two. And last one, plie down. And just little pulses for four, three, two, one. Stay there. Now see if you can releve on the balls of your feet without moving that carriage up and down. Just lifting those heels up and down. Squeezing those inner thighs for three, two, and one. Both heels down. Squeeze those thighs. Come on up. Whew. Good. Let's come on onto the other side and do the same thing. So we're going to bring the bar all the way up. We're going to add that red spring back on. Take that blue spring off. And now I'm going to place my left foot over the, onto the shoulder block, and my right foot is on the floor now. And I'm going to make sure 
My legs are in line before I get started. Both hands down. And we're just going to do a few leg extensions with our hands down onto the foot bar. Engaging that core, really lifting up. Nice strong core, reaching that crown of the head long. Full extension with this leg. Really feel those glutes working. Feel that top, top, pop, top part of the glute lifting. Excuse me. I could not get that out. Good. And when you're ready, release the hands. Keep a slight bend in that standing knee. And we're just going to push out and in. Keeping those hips square towards the floor. Stay low in that nice little lunge. Feel that left leg working hard. Remember, remember you have full extension out and in. For five. Four. Three. Two. The last one, keep it out. Extend that bottom leg. And now you're going to bend into that right knee and up. So now our floor leg is our mover. Our carriage leg isn't doing anything. This is our mover. We're bending in and extending. So by bending and extending this leg, that's what's moving that carriage. So you're feeling that glute and that hamstring working so hard right now. It hurts. It feels good. It's effective. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one. Stay low in that lunge. Hands to prayer. Towards the camera. And away from the camera. We're just twisting on that waistline. Back to center. And extend that knee. And slowly come on up. Whew. Great job, guys. Almost done here. We're going to go into that lunging. Um, uh, Leaping lunge, sorry, I was like, what? And then we'll move on. So when you're ready, both hands onto the foot bar. Keep your leg up, your foot up against that shoulder block. And you're gonna push out into your lunge, get low, and then put all your weight into this foot bar as you come on up and lift that right leg. So these are made to have a little speed to them so we can keep that heart rate elevated. So a little cardio burst here. You got it. Down and up. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come on in. Great job, guys. Whew. If you need a quick sip of water, go ahead and grab it. And let's grab our short boxes. Especially when we're lifting up through this right leg. So, 
I'll let you guys figure out what's comfortable for you, but just really think about keeping that nice beach ball, rotating through the waistline, and bringing that right leg up to meet your hands, feeling that nice oblique crunch through that right side. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back down. Good, stay there. Let's just switch our spring So I'm gonna take my red off, my heavy off, and I'm gonna put my blue spring back on. Now I'm gonna stay in the same position that we were just in. So my legs don't move, just the springs. Short strap is still in hand. From here, we're just gonna go into single arm work. So we're gonna keep the left strap in my left hand. Sorry. And then we're just gonna lift our hands up overhead and back down. So you can see that my arms do not go past my shoulders. I'm staying up at shoulder level, even when I bring them down. So I'm really just going to burn out the arms, get really nice toned arms. So I'm sitting straight up and down. I'm not leaning towards the side. So core is working hard here to keep us centered. Reaching that crown of the head long. Engaging that core. Good, so nice little halo arms. Bringing it up overhead and back down. Slow and steady, more effective. Really getting some nice toned arms for three, two, and one. Good, from here we're just gonna bring our arm over chest, reaching towards the other side of the room and then back to our starting position. So our hand just glides right at chest level, back and forth. So I'm allowing my head to kind of follow my hand. Try to keep your arm up again at shoulder level. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one, good. So now I'm gonna grab short strap in hand with my left arm. So, we're gonna go into jaw sword, into that backhand position. So we're gonna draw that sword and then extend that arm all the way out. My head follows my hand, bending it back in and putting my sword back. So everything stays pretty close and narrow towards the center of my body as I draw that sword in backhand. If that short strap is too heavy for you, if you have that option, you can always move towards that long strap. That'll make it a little bit easier. But if you can manage that short strap, do the short strap. It's a great workout. Really working the back of the arm, the triceps, deltoids. Really good exercise also for the back. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, and last one. You're gonna keep that arm extended. We're gonna place our left arm down onto the headrest as we reach that arm up and over so we get that nice little mermaid stretch or lateral stretch for that right side. And then stack the spine and come on up. So draw that sword, extend reaching up towards the ceiling as that left hand comes down, pull the shoulders back and get that nice lateral flexion of the spine. So it should really open up that right side. Let's go for three. Two. And one, come on in. Good job guys. We can go ahead and put that down. And let's come on up, and we're gonna face our front of the reformer. We're gonna place both of our feet onto our shoulder block and come down towards, sit closer towards the front of your box. 
and you're going to place your hands right by your side. You want your fingers facing down. You don't want them behind you. You want them facing down towards the um, reformer. We're going to go into a tricep dip. So sitting nice and tall, you're going to extend your legs all the way out, and then you're going to extend your arms right behind you. So you want your legs fully extended, and you want to release, come off to that box, putting the weight into your arms. Keep a slight bend in those elbows. And from here, you're just going to bend down and up. Keep your arms narrow towards your body. Try not to move that carriage. You're just bending and straightening those arms, hitting those triceps. If this is too much for you, the extended legs, you can come in, keep the legs bent, and just down and up. A little bit more easy, a little bit easier. If you want that challenge, keep those legs extended and bend and extend. For five, four, three, two, one, come on in. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead and place both hands onto the um, foot bar, and we're going to come on up. We're going to place both feet. You're going to come onto your tippy toes, sorry, and you're going to have your heels against your box. So on your toes, heels against your box. Keep a nice flat back, we're still on that light spring. From here, we're going to push out to a plank, and then bend the knees. Out and in. So we're on that light spring. If that light spring is too much for you, you can add a little bit of a heavier spring. But just think about keeping that nice flat back. And then we're going to add on to this. We're going to go into a little jackrabbit. So I'm going to bring my right knee in towards my chest and have my left leg still extended. And then I'm going to switch. So opposite leg comes in, opposite leg goes out. We're still staying nice and low. Good. Really strong core here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down. And then let's do this other leg. So let's push out to that plank. Bring that right knee into chest. Same thing, out and in. Try to keep a slight bend in that elbow, lifting up onto that core. Five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down, almost done here, guys. Let's walk our hands out towards the end. Both sides of that foot bar. Push out to a plank, hold it, and now we're going to do some push-ups. Just bring that chest down and up for five, four, three, two, and one. Both feet down and sit on your box. <laughs> Whew. Good. I'm just going to towel up really quick, and then we're going to start that whole series on the other side. Good. So, let's first, let's put that red spring back on. So, one red spring only. Take your blue spring off. Oh, sorry, I'm so sweaty. And then now I'm going to have my back towards you guys. So, same thing here. Now my right leg, right foot is over the box. And now my left knee is off. So now you can kind of see from the back how I am. Let's grab that short strap in hand. And then we're going to start with the um, rotation twist. So getting that rotation of the spine, but also um, getting into our waistline with that left oblique crunch. So interlacing the fingers, short strap in hand, arms up at shoulder level, find that beach ball. So always practice our form. From here, when we're ready, we're starting at the diagonal. We're going to pull it in. I want to position myself where I'm comfortable here. And then lift. So it might take a few to kind of position yourself where you're comfortable. But once you're there, good. So remember, 
pulling with the obliques, lifting that leg up, getting that nice crunch through that left oblique and back. So our hips really stay squared to that wall in front of us. We're just moving from that waistline. And when you're lifting that leg up to meet your hands, think about closing that gap between your hip bone and your smallest rib bone. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on down. Whew, good job. Let's switch back to our blue spring. Heavy springs off, one blue spring only. We're staying in that position, keeping our hips square towards the wall. Short strap in right hand. And now we're just gonna stay center from head to our hips. We're not leaning. We're gonna go right into those halo arms. So shoulder press up and back down. So you can see my arms stay up at shoulder level, even here. I don't drop them, I don't come all the way down. I wanna keep that tension and really burn out those shoulders. Get really nice, toned, strong, sculpted shoulders and arms and back. Good, keep breathing guys. Hands meet into a nice halo and down. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Now we're just going to bring that arm across the chest and then back. So we're staying up at shoulder level. I haven't dropped it. Still keeping a lot of tension. Really burning out those muscles. Should be on fire if they are, mine are too. Good job, guys. So hips stay square towards that wall. You're just moving through that waistline. Arm stays narrow towards the body. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on in. Whew. Good, let's switch hands. So I'm gonna take the short strap in my left arm now. From here, we're gonna go into draw sword into that extension and then back in. Same thing, arm stays pretty narrow towards my body as I draw that sword and bring it back in. My head follows my hand. My hips are still squared over that wall in front of me. Got it. So if you get full extension with that arm, like I said, if the short strap's too much, you can switch that long strap for five. We're going to add on four, three, two, and last one. Keep it out there. Now you're going to reach that arm up towards the ceiling. Right hand comes down into a nice lateral flexion towards that left side. Arm comes down, stack the spine, and then draw that sword. So you really want to open up that left side of that body. Think about pulling those shoulders back. Don't punch over. Let's go for three. Two. And last one. Come on up. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and put that down. Let's put our box away. As I was doing those exercises, I realized that I forgot to do inner thighs on the other side. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's keep that blue spring. I'm going to put my foot box down. And now I'm going to have my back facing you guys. So I apologize that I didn't do this didn't do this after we did that footwork. So let's do it now. So I'm gonna set my left foot onto the foot bar. I mean, sorry, the shoulder block, Blah, the platform. <laughs> and my right foot onto the carriage. So platform first, carriage second. I'm gonna move my toes into first position so they're out towards the sides of the room 
Okay, I'm going to push that carriage out, wrap my inner thighs in together, and we'll lift up through the crown of the spine. So out and lift. So you can push out as far as you are comfortable with. Good. Let's go for three. We're going to add on two. And last one, stay out there. We're just going to add that plie and then lift. So push out, down to that plie, and lift, squeezing those inner thighs in towards each other like they have a magnet. For five. Whew. Four, three, two, last one, push out, stay in that plie, and now we're just going to relevate up and down, up and down on the balls of those feet, still squeezing those inner thighs towards each other for four, three, two, and one, both heels down, squeeze those inner thighs, and bring it on up. Good. And then slowly come on down off that reformer. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead, pull our foot bar all the way up. And now, let's go ahead, come on down. So, we're going to do a little mid-back series, and then we'll finish off with feet and straps. So you're almost done. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to put a red and a blue on. So I have one heavy and one light. Your headrest can come up here. And I'm going to lay down onto my back. And grabbing my straps behind me. Good. So short straps in hand on my back. Wiggle away from the shoulder blocks a little so you have some room to move. We're going to bring both legs to tabletop. And we're just going to pull those arms straight up and straight down. Let's squeeze those knees in towards each other. So squeeze the legs together and straight up and down. They stop right on top of your shoulders. And you're pulling all the way down towards your um, reformer or your, your waist. And then we're going to add on. So come on up, head, neck, and shoulders, and back down. I'm just going to wiggle down just a little bit more. Good. So now we're going to a nice little ab crunch. And then we'll add on to this. So let's go ahead, extend everything out, and in. So head, neck, and shoulders, leg extension. Everything bends back in and comes on down. For five, four, three, two, last one, keep it up, and now lower and lift. Sorry, my nose itches. Lower and lift those legs. So keep the tailbone heavy. So straight leg up and down. Tap that foot bar and lift. So super strong core. For five, four, three, two. Last one, keep them extended. Now crisscross those legs. Still a lot of tension into those straps. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees and come on in. Good job. Good, from here. Bring the legs back to tabletop, and then we're going to bring our arms straight down, and then just bend at the elbows. So our elbows are hovering, they're not resting, and we're just going to bend the elbows in and out. So, hitting those triceps again. We're going to add on, so when you're ready, bring your head, neck, and shoulders up, and we're going to keep them up. We're not going to rest from our head down, so we're going to stay in flexion and still bend those elbows in and out. For five, four, three, two, last one. Push everything out, open, close the legs, bend the knees, bend the elbows. 
So going right in to coordination. For five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, keep it out. And now we're just gonna scissor kick those legs. One leg at a time. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, bend your knees and come on in. Good job guys, from here. Let's go ahead and put our legs in straps. So we're gonna push out with our right foot, put our left foot in, and then our right foot. So we're in our long straps here. Both feet in, tension in those straps, and let's just do straight on legs, lower and lift. Whew, so you're officially in cool down mode. Good job. You really wanna lift all the way up, hinge those legs up towards the ceiling, but keep that tailbone happy. Don't lift the tailbone. So get that nice stretch in the back of those legs. Good. And four. Three. Two. Keep those legs extended. Now bend the knees and extend. So we're just bending and stretching. So bending those knees in towards the chest, stop at 90 degrees and kick through those heels. Good. You want to keep your, your um, heels right above your uh, ankles. Sorry, let me just say that again. You want to keep your ankles right above your knees so the straps don't rub. Sorry, I'm like full of tongue twisting today. I cannot speak, so I hope you guys don't mind. I apologize. Let's go for three, two, last one. We're gonna add the two. So we're gonna extend up towards the ceiling, bend the knees, kick through the heel. So extend, bend, and kick. So we're still keeping that tailbone heavy. And we're going to reverse in two and one. So now let's bend the knees into chest, legs come up straight towards the ceiling, and then pull the legs straight down. So we're just adding the two and reversing the direction. So bend in towards the chest, extend both legs up, tailbone's heavy, and pull both legs down. For three. Two, and one, good job guys. Let's just go right into our leg circles. So you can make these as wide as you can, as wide as your hips allow you to. For three, Two, and one. Let's reverse the direction. For three, two, and one. Bend your knees, and let's slowly come on out of those shots and place them onto your earring. And let's come on up. <sighs> All right, guys, if you need to keep stretching, be my guest, but that is the end of our class today or our workout. So that was about a 50 minute, full body, advanced level reformer workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I do apologize for mixing up my words a lot. <laughs> it's, it's Monday, so bear with me. Um, so no props, we just needed our box and the reformer. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, for mat, reformer, anything Pilates. I'll see you guys tomorrow for my mat Pilates workout at 4.30. Um, yep, yeah, so have a great day. Bye, guys.